Hello gardening friends, it is July and time for our July gardening tour. I think the star of this month, or the thing I'm most excited about, is my trombone sino squash. So let's get down to the garden and get started with the tour. Here we go. Okay, it's looking like a jungle in here. Can't even see through my garden anymore. Let me see if I hold it up real high if you can see some of my garden. Probably not, because everything is uh, tied up. Everything is growing, growing, growing. Here are my some of my tomatoes. I've got them tied up. I put some posts in on each end of this short little row. And then I weaved with a uh, string. I weaved in between the tomatoes. And they're already up at the top of this. So this is an experimental tomato that I got from, I forget what company, but uh, yeah, it's an experimental tomato, and it looks like it's doing the best of any of the tomatoes in the garden. So, uh, yeah, so I have to keep an eye on that and see how it does. Some more tomatoes. More tomatoes. Here's a fig tree that has some figs on it. I don't think I've ever even harvested any figs from this tree before. I'm pretty sure that's a yellow long neck. I'm going to do a tour just on my figs. So you guys can see that. Uh, here's a fig growing on this one. I don't think I've ever harvested a fig off of this tree before either. Oh look, there's a lot of figs on there. See, there's a fig there. Fig up here. I see figs all over this tree. So it looks like we're gonna get some figs from this tree this year. That's awesome. I have a rigula planted down here that mostly it just dropped down from the seeds from the arugula that was here before. Some zinnias. Those are beautiful. Let's see. There's a sunflower going way up there. That is a volunteer. Did not plant that sunflower there. There's zinnias all over the place here. Look at those zinnias. That has a, a big flower on it. Here are some runner beans. This is the black that I can't remember the exact name of it, but it goes back to the 1600s as far as uh, people talking about this bean is going up my my uh, TP trellis still getting onions that I planted from the uh, bulbs that I put in the ground last fall starting to get a lot of cucumbers there's a cucumber under there it's gonna be hard to see back in there but there's a cucumber down there I'll show you more cucumbers a little bit later on the tour starting to get some tomatoes that is uh, Bella Rosa so I haven't tried that yet. I'm gonna look forward to trying those. Here's some subarctic plenty. I did pick one of these already and cut it up. We had some tacos last night that we used them in and it was good. There's some more subarctic plenty. It's starting to get ripe. So, that's awesome. Here's another one of the experimental one. It's SV7846TH. It's got a lot of tomatoes on there. I think that plant is actually producing more tomatoes than any other variety that I have. Here's my JH Adriatic fig. This was very prolific last year. Got more figs off of that than any other fig here. Hey, here's some cilantro. Can't walk by without munching on some cilantro. And then I got some radishes under here. Which, they're a little bit hot for them right now. But, uh, there's still some on there. I have onions here that I grew from seed. And then I put them in the ground. I actually started these in a winter sowing jug and then I transplanted them out here. 
these are gonna get bigger bulbs hopefully got some dill weed here and then my dahlias I actually cut them way back because they were starting to shade my square foot garden if you haven't seen my square foot garden series I will put a link at the end so that you can go ahead and check out my square foot garden series I just planted these cucumbers and put this trellis up was my last video I did I put some wire over that to stop the animals from messing with my cucumbers my grandkids caught a skunk so I'm being a little more careful about covering my crops because I think the skunks has been digging in the garden digging up stuff here's some corn there's some sweet corn and some hoppy blue corn here's some red malabar spinach the thing I like to really eat on these is the very tips you just pull the tips off and eat them I think that tastes better than the leaves here's some tomatoes here this is atomic grape and that's from Baker Creek rare seeds they said that this is their favorite tomato her favorite their best tasting tomato I haven't tried it before so be interesting to see what it tastes like my strawberries are growing nicely but the uh, season is pretty much over although there are some blooms on here still which I'm sort of surprised that there are blooms oh and there's tomato there I'm uh, a tomato there is a uh, strawberry but yeah it has some bloom still see there's a bloom right there I'm not quite sure why they're still blooming here's a moringa and I planted that moringa in the garden in April and it really hasn't done very much so the other day I sprouted some other moringa and and I sprouted them in a plastic bag in the house and then I brought them out and they are actually growing faster and they're bigger than the one that was out here in April so I guess that's a lesson don't plant your moringa out in the garden too soon here's a kiwi hardy kiwi vine which it's doing well it's going up this trellis here it's uh, probably getting close to three feet tall and I had another one over here because I thought I had killed this one early in the spring by putting it out when it was too cold so I had bought that other one so now I have two kiwis Let's see if I can go back in here there's a volunteer squash here oh yeah it needs picked but there might be a squash on here that needs picked look at that it's huge oh my goodness yep definitely needed to get out here and pick that squash Woo! this is a volunteer so some kind of Frankenstein squash probably there's some peppers here Here's some okra. Planted in a little row of okra that I'll need to thin that out soon. Some more peppers. It's jalapeno. California Wonder. There's a cayenne from Mama Gardener. They got, there's uh, three peppers on there already. Let's see, there's a cor corno de toro sweet pepper this is Spanish mammoth also got some carrots through here I think there's some rabbits that are running through my garden eating the carrot tops as well some more peppers here's my asparagus it's getting uh, the roots growing to prepare for next year's crop already let's go over here and look at my main spot where I have cucumbers we're getting overrun with cucumbers already. We've been eating them and giving them away. Look, here's one that I let go too long. That's actually still edible, but if it gets much bigger than that, they'll start getting bitter. There's a few more hanging on over here. Those are pretty big too. Probably eat one of these for breakfast. Look how long that one is. Whew. And then you got a couple more here that I can probably leave those on for a day. Here's my garden for 
food for the rabbits mostly. Next I got some um, daikon radishes there, some lettuce, carrots. This is lettuce that's going to seed. This is Italian kale. I believe I got that from MI Gardener. And then uh, this is dandelion. I think I might have got that from MI Gardener as well. The seeds. And this is um, lemongrass. Right, let's go over to have some more cucumbers over here. There's another cucumber plant. Look at that. That cucumber is ready to pick. Also got rattlesnake beans up here that need picked. Rattlesnake beans are nice because they don't get tough even if you let them go a little longer than you should. There's some more cucumbers. Lots of cucumbers out here. I haven't got any harvest off of those yet. Okay, and over here I planted some more tomatoes. I believe these are mostly the um, determinate varieties. So I'm putting them in here with just this mulch on the bottom so they hopefully won't need much staking. I'm also getting a lot of blackberries. There's blackberry blooms and blackberries on the plant. Mmm. That was good. Pardon me while I eat. Very, very good. Some catnip. Here's another spot where I have red Malabar spinach growing. Now let's get over and I'll show you the trombone sino squash. Okay, here's the trombone sino squash. You can see a squash here. That's a little baby. So that's the bloom on it there. I did harvest one. The first one was a really big one. And uh, we got a lot more coming here. See, there's another one. They'll grow pretty straight if you have them up on a trellis like this. Let me get around to show you one that's a little bigger. Ah, here's one that's pretty big. This is way under the canopy. <laughs> so here's the bloom on it. And there is the trombonesino squash. There's the bulb that he's gonna get big at the bottom. And then the squash going up there. That one is uh, probably two feet long, but it's not very thick yet. So we'll wait for that to get thick and be ready to harvest. Look at these goji berries. I, my goji berries don't seem like they get very big. I'm not quite sure why, and they don't seem like they're very tasty either. So, uh, no, anybody have any thoughts on my goji berries? Why they're not tasting very good and why they're not very big? Or is that the size that they're supposed to be? I'm not a goji berry expert, that's for sure. The plant looks like it's doing well, it's producing well. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a link up here for my square foot gardening series, and I'll put one on the other side, which is a video that YouTube says that you will like. So make sure you click those links. I will go ahead and put a, a video of my animals that are in the garden here for a few seconds while uh, you decide which video you're gonna watch. Thanks for watching, have a blessed day. We'll see y'all again real soon.